Yes, you know what it is. It's your main man, M. Easy. Real fans, real talk. Make sure you keep real it tuned fans, in. RealTalk.com. Where Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. What's going on, Trip Young? We out here at the Family on Three charity event at uh, Springfield High School, and y'all see who I'm with right now, M-Easy, Power 105.1. Now, you are the the producer on The Breakfast Club. No, 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 no. I don't want to take that credit. I'm not the producer. I'm one well, of the guys we that run the show in the background. Okay. Yes, one of the, he, run, he runs the show There's now. There's a lot of people in the, back, in the behind the scenes that you don't ever see. I'm just one of those guys. I don't okay. want to take too much credit. All right, now, how is it on The Breakfast Club? Because it's probably the, the best uh, morning radio show in the, the country, but you got one of the, the biggest characters in Charlemagne the God. How is it working with Charlemagne every day? Um, <laughs> it's it's um, it's indescribable. You can't describe that guy, Charlemagne. He's a uh, he's got a different type of uh, sense of humor. Um, and but the Breakfast Club as a collective is a, is an amazing group of three with Envy and, and Angela Yee. Their their work ethic and their drive is something that I, it's it's nice to see as a young guy doing what they're doing or trying to be where they're at. And you, you guys also have some of the most interesting guests from all, all uh, facets of the industry. Recently, you guys had uh, Dick Gregory on, mm -hmm. on the show dropping a whole lot of knowledge. What was that, that one like? I mean, <laughs> another interesting situation, is uh, interesting fellow in Dick Gregory. Um, the Breakfast Club, like you said, they're a nationally syndicated uh, breakfast, uh, morning show. They reach millions and millions of people. So when anybody asks to come up, the Breakfast Club could have that reach. You know, presidential candidate. He, they, he came up and talked to Charlemagne in the breakfast club. Bernie Sanders? Yeah. Bernie Sanders, yeah. He's been up to the breakfast club, so their, their reach is long, man. Okay. And I see you do. You guys do have Hillary coming on onto the show. Is it this Monday she's supposed Absolutely. to be coming on the show? Yeah, that's crazy. I was I was there when she came in. That's crazy. And so now the Sunday sit-down? Absolutely. I do have a weekend show, uh, one of the top-rated weekend shows in, the, in New York City, actually. Uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoons, the Sunday sit-down has been doing very well, actually. Okay. Now, how long have you actually been in radio? Oh, in radio behind the scenes for almost seven, eight years now. On air for about three, four. Now, a lot of times, a lot of once you're in radio, you start to make that transition into television. Is that something that you're looking into doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a TV check. Uh, I just started uh, acting in a, a web series, Blue City. You catch it on YouTube. Um, that's cool. I mean, I'm just trying to dibble and dabble and make as much money as I still can. Now, who are you playing in the, in the web series uh, Blue City? Um, his name is Remedy. He's a music producer. And the last episode, I got shot. You gotta go check it out. See if I die or not. I'm taking bullets out here. <laughs> it's, it's real. You yeah. <laughs> definitely getting your act on. Anytime you take a shot on camera, yeah. that you know that exactly. That, that's a great thing. Are you trying to do uh, any movies? I mean, if I get asked to, I would love to. I mean, I'm still relatively new and fresh, so I don't think. I would say no to a role, but un unless I'm kissing men, you know, I ain't doing all that, but, you know, I'd love to do acting, yeah. <laughs> I got you, I got you. All right, now, we are out here at the uh, Anthony Mason Jr.'s Family on Three charity event. How did you wind up linking up with Anthony Mason Jr. and the whole Family on Three? Um, Anthony Mason Jr. came in and kicked it with me on the Sunday sit-down. I interviewed him. He talked about a lot of the things he was doing, and when he brought this thing up, I was like, I'd love to be a part of it. Um, John Starks, who's also here, he came down and interviewed with me as well. So when they were talking about this, I wanted to be a part of it. I, I like talking to the kids and being part of the community and, and being someone that the kids could look, look up to. All right, and I know you're a busy man, so we're not going to keep you too long, but please tell uh, the folks at home where they can uh, reach you at and how they can follow you in, in both the Sunday sit-down and the Breakfast Club. Um, Breakfast Club, uh, Power 105, well, you know the Breakfast Club already. Uh, my Instagram is I -M -M -E -Z, that's I-A-M-E-M-E-Z, YouTube, same deal, Facebook, same deal, it's easy to find, I am -M -E -Z. All right, Trip Young, Real Fans, Real Talk. We out here, family on three. I'm easy. Thank you for coming on the program. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamond's Trip Young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats, man.